Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Transroad USA. So in our last video we finally got some some things taken care of on our uh, career mode quest and you can see here we've already completed uh, the minimum requirements for our next activity but uh, we're gonna the problem is we're gonna have to wait until 422 for this to really take effect and see what's coming uh, next in the career mode. So I don't want to do too much uh, before then, other than, of course, we always can use some more money in our uh, checking account because at some point I do want to do our final takeover of uh, seagulls here. Uh, but, you know, I'm not in any particular hurry to do that, uh, given their valuation being quite high and my, my general uh, idea of using about a million dollars more than their valuation to try to uh, do the takeover. So that's a little bit more money than I want to spend right now, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, nothing is 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 definitely for certain, uh, but let's just sort of catch up where we are right now. We've got a truck that we just uh, swapped out and now we have a new flatbed trailer attached to it and it is currently on its way to Augusta and we have a driver for this, uh, even though our driver doesn't show up right now, it's because he's in training. So he should have his license and be ready to go, hopefully round about the time that our new truck gets there. And then we'll get our new truck busy on uh, one of the schedules that we've got going on. So we've now picked up, I believe, three different recurring schedules. We got one here on the reefer trailers. Then we got one that we picked up last time uh, on the flatbeds. And then we've got one here on the dump trailers as well. Now, thank you to the comment section. I did not realize before that there was actually this uh, this option over here to switch contracts between schedules. So we may uh, get into that just so I can move all of the recurring toward the end of uh, the schedule. So we may come back to that. But for now, one of the things I really would like to do, uh, if we're going to keep any of these recurring schedules on a long-term basis, is I would really like to pick up some uh, return trips or backhauls for these. I don't like leaving these as one trip uh, deals, particularly when we have more trucks on them than is actually required. Uh, one of the reasons I like to put more trucks on there than is required is so that we can do backhauls without having to worry too much about uh, the timing of everything. So I want to work on that. And of course, we want to try to stack up as much money as we possibly can um, in our bank account. So we're starting with about 8.6 million. And let's get this thing going. Uh, let's see. Let's start with our dump trailers. Let's see. We're going to Cheyenne. Now, obviously, we're very familiar with Cheyenne. We've done quite a bit of business there. Oh, look like we got some, some trailers that we need to attend to. So we've done a lot of business in Cheyenne. So it's conceivable that we could have a backhaul here. So we need Cheyenne to Savannah. It looks like we've already got, let's see if we speed things up. Yeah, it looks like we already got three trucks in the area. There's a few more here. All right, so we've got some at various different spots along the route. So let's go into Cheyenne and all right, there's our correct trailer. And let's see if we got anything going back to Savannah. Now, perfect would be another recurring contract that pays fairly well. And in fact, it doesn't even have to pay that great. Uh, oh wait, here we go, 3,700. Okay, that's obviously not tremendous, but the one thing to keep in mind is this would give us two recurring deals and basically make this a, a schedule we wouldn't even have to touch anymore. Okay, obviously you can see there are some good deals better than, than what we would get pay on that Cheyenne back to Savannah deal, but all right, that's perfect. So this is a good deal, 11,700. So we don't want to pass that up. So I think what I'm going to do is go back. Where is it at? There it is. So this, again, this isn't the most wonderful that we've ever had, but it gives us two recurring deals. And I think we're going to be okay on the timing here. It's an eight truck deal. We've got 11 trucks. Uh, we don't have that many in the immediate area, but hopefully this will work out and won't become uh, an issue as we've got about, what is that, three trucks that are fairly close to get started and hopefully the rest of them will be along soon enough uh, to get that going. 
All right, so let's go and take a look at what is going on here. So that must be Schedule 2 that just finished up, and that's going to leave us with a couple of guys in Augusta. Now, I know, let's take a look at Schedule 4. So we're going Minneapolis to Augusta, and that's got three trucks on it, and that's a three-truck contract. Let's see if we have anything Augusta back to Minneapolis. And we'll need to swap out the trailer type. So is there anything going to Minneapolis? There is not. Okay, well, that's not exactly a great thing. So let's see, anything along the way, even close? Anything at all? Nothing? Not really seeing it. That's okay. We don't have, wow, okay, I like that one 10,800 per, but yeah, nothing that is really even along the way for that one. So that's just kind of kind of be what it is. Uh, and what I might do here is just go ahead and put these other guys uh, on this one just to go ahead and try to get it done a little bit quicker. Okay, still waiting for this guy to get get back where it is. Okay, so we're headed from Detroit over to Augusta. And we still got a little bit of time left. All right, schedule three. Okay, so we just reset. So now we've got so far one truck onto our new, but looks like we're gonna, we're about to have more than that. All right, so everything good there. All right, a lot of good numbers, 21,000, 9,000. I always like to see those pop up. Schedule A, of course, we know that's the recurring for the reefer loads. And where is our delivery? Oh, we've had a freeze. There it goes. We're back. All right, so we're almost back to Augusta, and now there we are. Okay, so our person is still... Tell you what, let's go into the drivers, maybe. There we go. And let's see if it tells us how much time there is left. Uh, does it tell me? It does not. Okay, so we just know he's in training, but it doesn't tell us how much longer he's got. At least not that I see on the screen in front of me. It looks like it has already adjusted his earnings because I think he was making 200 and something per week. It's been a few days since I did a recording in this game, so I can't remember exactly, but I want to say that's about right. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can get any backhauls on these guys. So we're going Des Moines to Charlotte. Can we go Charlotte back to Des Moines? And already this isn't looking good. Yeah, the contracts are just not being nice to us here. So nothing really there. So we'll keep this one. Again, it's making six grand per trip. So I'm not terribly worried about it. We're making nice money. And then, of course, we've got our newly anointed trip over here to Vegas. Let's see if Vegas has got anything for this trailer type. And no, it does not. So no such luck there. And at this particular time, I'm not going to branch out and see if we have anything to neighboring cities and try to catch something along the way. Uh, if I decide to do that, I'll probably uh, put a few more trucks on this uh, just to make sure. All right, so we've got our four trucks. It's really the only thing we need to worry about right now. Uh, Charlotte to Chicago. We'll actually be done with this one uh, here fairly shortly. And then we'll start dealing with that. All right, we'll close that out. And let's see, where are these guys? So they are headed to Chicago. And I don't see, looks like they're all headed back to Charlotte right now to pick up their final loads because they are, wow, now that's definitely, that's a convoy right there because it looks like they're all right there together. So as they approach, uh, what I'm going to want to do is, so we've got seven trucks there. Now we're getting some more All right, so this guy is in Des Moines. How on earth did he get to Des Moines? Wow. Well, I totally missed that. I don't know how he got to Des Moines. I don't even. I can't even think of where he would have been. 
other than this Schedule 1 here. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do with him. We're actually going to take this opportunity and we're going to hit it. Oh, our guy is out. Before we do anything, let's go ahead over to Augusta and get this guy lined up so that we can get him added uh, to a schedule. All right, so he's in Augusta. All right, so now we've got five guys on this particular schedule. That's good. And we're still at seven right here. I'm thinking I want to move at least a couple of guys out and also get them onto uh, some of these flatbed deliveries. So let's take this opportunity and take a look. Okay, he has no, no special licenses. So let's head into the HQ and go to our drivers and let's get him set up with some training. All right, where is he? There he is. Let's go ahead with training and let's do flatbed for him. Start the training. Let's see, new salary, okay. All right, that's still, that's still very low. Uh, of course, we're not worried about the amount of money, but it's going to take two days. Very short amount of time. He is a quick, quick learner. All right, so let's make sure all of that took as if as we wanted it to. There you go. He's in training. That's perfect. So now that's going to give us an opportunity to pick up some more trucks or swap out some more trucks. So let's go back in to Des Moines and we're going to sell. This is only a two axle, so we don't have any, any use for it anymore. And then we'll sell here as well. Okay. Now let's see, where do we want our new truck to go? All right, we're not all that close to being done with this one, so I may have it sent to, well, I guess either Bismarck or Des Moines. Either one would be would be perfectly good there. And that would give us six on this particular schedule. Mess up our math a little bit. All right, so let's see what we've got in Minneapolis. Do we have any of the trucks that we need? And sure enough, we do. All right, 209. That's a little more expensive than I remember. But we're going to take it as this will be uh, perfect. But the interesting thing to note is the next time we move up to a new trailer, which will be the livestock, we'll have to move up into, looks like the four axle trailers. In fact, let's just go ahead and move over and find one. Yeah, four axle will be what we'll be needing for, looks like from here on out. Okay, all of these, yeah, all of these appear to be the same. So we'll take that. Yep. Okay. Let's make sure we get... So Des Moines, that's perfectly fine. It's close enough anyway. That will work out. So Des Moines, let's send that truck over there. And then let's go get a trailer. So I do want to leave a few trucks... Uh, that are open to being flipped over to the new trailer because I'm sure at some point very soon in the career mode, Billy is going to be back wanting us to go livestock trailers. So I'm trying to leave uh, some trucks in the uh, the dry trailers for that. But I do want to try to, let's see, not Des Moines. We don't want Des Moines. Uh, where did we go? We went, no, we did go Des Moines, didn't we? Okay. All right, so we've got our new truck on its way to Des Moines. I almost messed that up and sent it to uh, Bismarck. So, all right, it's on its way to Des Moines. And let's see, contract fulfilled. All right, oops, special contract in Savannah. Let's see what they're going to be using. Dry. I like what it says, about eight trips. Well, how many is it? I mean... Then we've got, okay, well, that would be an issue for us because we don't have any available. We are all tied up on contracts. Oh, it looks like that's going to be most of what this is. All right, so I guess we're not going to be dealing with that, so we'll decline that one. All right, we've got our driver there, so we'll just have to wait until uh, we have our driver out of training. All right, let's take another look. I know we're going to have guys coming out of... 
this contract here very shortly. So we've still got seven trucks and let's see, they'll probably be headed to, I'm guessing Indy will be their closest one. And oh wow, look at there. Look at that. That's how you know you've got a convoy all running back to back. We should have been doing some nice drafting on the interstate and saving a lot of fuel with this many trucks uh, back to back. So, all right, they are headed to okay Des Moines, and then a few of them are going to Indy. We had seven total. Okay, so what I'm thinking I want to do is reduce this down to five. So that would be these five, and then I will take these two guys that are in Indy, or as soon as they get there anyway, and I will turn them over to our new trailer type. And that'll leave us five of the dry trailers. Okay, economic boom in the car market, which we haven't gotten there yet, so we don't have to worry about that. And waiting for these guys to get to Indy. And there they go. So we're in Indy. Let's pull up the depot. And it looks like we're going to need to do some more training. Okay, let's get out of there. Go back to our HQ. Still got that hesitation that shows up. All right, let's go to training. And oh, you've already got, wait, hold on. Hold on. You are in, oh, he's in one of the others. That's what it is. Okay, all right. Well, since we got that lucky, let's go ahead back to, uh, let's go over to Des Moines. And let's just see what we've got. Okay, you have what I need, and you have what I need. So let's just swap you guys out. Whoops. Right there. We'll put you in the existing one, and we'll put you in here. All right, that'll be perfect. That is not bad at all. Uh, except for, wait a minute. We haven't swapped them out yet. So that's going to work out pretty good. So let's go ahead and sell this. That'll, that'll be good. And then we'll get you. And there were what? There was at least one more. Three axle over here. Is that all? Yeah, just one more. All right, so that's good. So we've got one more that we need to swap out after this one. Let's see. We'll go ahead and... Did we send it to Des Moines last time? Ah, it's not a big deal either way. They're both close by. So let's go over to our trailers. And flatbed. Yes, please, Des Moines. And confirm that. Okay, so there it is. So now we got one more that we need to swap out. But let's go ahead and let this guy get down to Des Moines. There we go. So now we can assign our new trailer. Then we got, of course, one guy that's going to be coming out of training very soon. And let's see, anybody else? All right, let's go ahead and get them up and running on this one, even though we don't have all that much time left on this one. Let's go ahead and get them on there just so I can keep them all together. So that gives us six guys here in Indy, and I'm going to keep one of these. So that's where this guy will go. And then the other new guy will go to this truck once we get it swapped out. All right, there we go. And so let's see if there's anything over in Detroit that we need. And how about that? All four axles. All right. And let's see. As much as I don't want to have to do that. Let's see. Well, how about this? Let's just go look in Seattle. A little bit of a drive there. All right. Six grand per week I don't particularly like, but it's really cheap on the front end. 
And are they all going to be like that? No, they are not. I'll take this one instead. I kind of like the fixed cost being lower. All right, let's take this one, the three axle. And we will send you to... We'll send you to Des Moines. Okay. And flatbed. Purchase that. Once again, go to Des Moines, please. And confirm that. Okay, now this guy will be on the way. Now we need to see what we can do with these others. So now we've got well, four of the five here in Des Moines for the flat, tra or excuse me, the dry trailers. So let's see what we can get. Any good deals? All right, there's a 20 trip deal. Not particularly thrilled about that. 15. Uh, that one, man, this is slim pickings. What was this one? Ooh. They are not giving me much to work with. Okay, so that's all we've got. Yikes. So the money is not going to be a huge deal. So let's just take Des Moines to Chicago. Not because of the money, but just because... Oh, wait, never mind. Seven trucks almost got me. Almost got me. What about KC? Three trucks. Man, y'all are killing me on these. Making it very hard for me to even think about pulling the trigger on these. All right, let's just take it and move on. 20 trips, that'll keep them busy for a little while, and it'll level up another uh, customer. All right, let's put all of them, even the one that's in Indy. We'll get them all on here. I'll put five on there. That'll make the math nice and tidy. Okay, and let's see, what is in Lincoln? Anything Lincoln coming back? to Des Moines. Oh wow, one trip. Okay, nope, not right now. So our backhauls are just, we're not having any luck on those. Not at all. So where is our new truck? Here it comes. Go ahead and pull up our display. All right, contract fulfilled. Okay, yeah, that's I am going to have to eventually move that one because it is stuck right in the middle of everything. A salary increase. All right, that's no big deal. We'll accept that. Going to take probably quite a lot for me to think about uh, getting rid of some of these drivers and trying to find any new ones. There's definitely ways to get cheaper drivers over time, particularly now that training has been implemented. But at the same time, it's just really not worth the trouble for me because it's not about while we're playing this game and seeing they're gonna the game is gonna test me now and see how much how committed I am to that idea. All right, so we'll accept that. Okay, so we got some guys starting to load up in Augusta. We've got what one, two, three, four, and let's get on here. Yeah, these guys are all about to be done. So what I want to do now, of course, is see what we've got in Augusta. Let's see. Oh, yes. Of course, that's an eight-truck deal. Seems like that's identical to the one we're already running, or very close to it. We don't quite have eight trucks to put on it. And I don't really want to do another recurring deal with the remaining trucks that we have of this type because of deals like this. You know, I've mentioned earlier that one of the things you give up when you do the recurring deals is the completion bonus. And I'm perfectly fine with that. In fact, I like it as a dynamic in the game because you can either choose the minimalist approach and say, look, I want to be hands off, which is generally what I enjoy doing. And you can make some OK money, sometimes really good money, but you give up that completion bonus. But here it said, OK, if you're willing to be a little bit more hands on, we'll give you more money overall. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I got no problem whatsoever with that. So let's go ahead and probably take that one. 15 trips. All right, 19,000 per. Man, y'all are y'all are throwing some money at me now. Y'all are throwing some nice 
money at me. That's eight trucks. This one's five. We'll take this one. Augusta to Rapid City. Now, the question is going to be, are we going to be able to find anything coming back from Rapid City? But we'll deal with that momentarily. Okay, so this is a five truck deal. That should be no trouble for us as we're going to have plenty of guys as we finish up this existing contract. Uh, let's see, Des Moines. All right, now he's out of training. So let's go ahead and have this guy. We're going to go ahead and put him on uh, this one. But uh, Rapid City, let's move over. Look at the mess that it creates on the screen here. Okay, I would prefer to have this guy go from Des Moines over here to Rapid City if we can find something. Nope, they don't offer anything of this trailer type. Okay, I was afraid of that. All right, well, so be it. So we'll just load everybody up on this one. No sense in saving him over there because I don't know what I'd be saving him for at this point. And let's get this thing going. So the final few deliveries will be made here and then we'll have all of the trucks on this new contract. There we go. So a nice payment of 34 grand is coming in to our bank account here shortly. Or at least it should be. Where is this one driver? Oh, there he is. Okay, and he's on his way. He's a little bit behind the others. Okay, so we're doing great. You know, income and expenses. Yeah, all that we know is doing great because we haven't borrowed money, uh, well, ever, as far as I can remember in this playthrough. I'm not a big fan of borrowing money. I know it is, is great when used strategically, but... From my real life experiences, I have seen things go horribly wrong when people's, uh, their appetites and their goals and dreams get a little bit too big for what they uh, can realistically accomplish. And so it goes very bad very quickly. So for those of you, I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this, but in my real life before my health took a turn for the worst, um, I was actually a finance manager, so all of this stuff with spreadsheets and everything, I know I talk about a lot how I don't want to get into it and I don't want to crunch the numbers and uh, because it ruins the fun for me. Well, a lot of that has to do with my real life experience. I'm used to living in spreadsheets. I've done, I've lived in payroll, accounts payable, accounts receivable, responsible for all of that, purchasing, you name it. Uh, so I was looking at financials all day, every day. And so I was immersed in the spreadsheets and actually quite enjoy that. But when it comes to gaming, I find that it reduces my joy because as soon as I figure out the best way to do it, then it takes some of the fun away. I prefer to leave uh, the excitement of not exactly knowing the best way to do it and just trying different things and having fun with it. So that's why I do what I do and, and play it casually. Um, in the past, I definitely have gotten the spreadsheets out on some games and in length figured out exactly the best way I wanted to do things. But I generally found that as soon as I figured that out, it took fun away from it. So I have gone away from that. All right, really wish we had something in Rapid City to come back uh, because we're going to have some guys that are going to be coming available here very shortly. Our money's moving right along. I don't expect a whole lot from our money situation uh, as far as growing the stuff while we're swapping out all these trucks. It'll grow some just naturally as we complete contracts, but for the most part, I don't worry uh, too terribly much about it. All right, so how on earth did we get a new reefer trailer that has become idle? How is that even possible? Because we've not been doing anything with reefer trailers other than this recurring deal for quite some time. And what that might do is give me somebody else I can swap out. But first, let's see what we've got in Des Moines because schedule number one is now done. And we've got, let's see, six guys there, including, yeah, we're starting to get some other guys that are done. Why are we getting these guys that are done? Where are they coming from?
Okay, so they must have gotten, I must have missed, wasn't paying close enough attention up here. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I definitely missed out on something because we got guys come and do and, and now idle and I didn't realize it. Good news is they're still fairly close by. All right, let's deal with the dry trailers. Let's see, are they all? Yes, they're all in Des Moines, so that will be Schedule 1. And let's see what we've got. Anything good, please. And, yeah, they're just trying to get me to swap out. Look at that, 15 trucks, and you're going to pay me basically nothing. For that is no good at all. Come on, give me something that I will actually enjoy putting my my drivers on. All right, well, that's not going to happen. So let's go ahead. We'll take this one, five truck deal. And let's get all these guys back to work. There we go. We'll deal with you in a little bit. But now we've got one guy who's in Des Moines, and we've got a few guys that are on their way to Bismarck. And, yeah, they'll be there shortly. Let's see. Is there anything in Bismarck for us? Let's go ahead and get on this. No, you do not. Okay, what about Des Moines? Let's do Des Moines nothing as well. Lincoln? Nope. KC, nope. So we're stuck back up here uh, with our usual. Minneapolis has some, some business for us. Detroit, we know, has some business for us. There we go. There we go. I like this quite a bit. Two-truck deal, 15162 Yeah, let's just go ahead and take this. Let's not even look around. Let's just go ahead and take that one. That is a very nice sum of money that I will be more than happy to take off their hands and let's have these guys join in and that will mean also that these other guys will hop on board as well as they get done oh so he's okay never mind he's having maintenance done okay now that makes more sense to me i missed the icon before all right schedule three let's just go ahead and try this all right, let's we'll end the video with this because we're we're getting to about the cutoff time uh, for our video. So let's try this this little magical button over here that will allow us to swap contracts between schedules. So what I want to do is I want to move schedule three to schedule six. So let's try that. And let's see. So we're going from three to six. So I assume I can just drag it like this. And we should be good to go. Okay, I kind of like that. Confirm the changes, and now we're over to six. Well, how about that? That is awesome. Thank you very much for that tip, because I had, I had seen that before, but never really paid attention to it because it hadn't come into play for us. So thank you very much for that tip. I appreciate that. That was very nice. Now we've got, uh, and I would love, by the way, to make seven and eight look just like this with return trips, but we haven't, we haven't been fortunate with that just yet. More salary increases, man. Word must be getting around that I'm okay with salary increases because everybody is asking for them. Now, this poor guy here is not making much of any money anyway. So, yeah, the game is testing me on this and saying, hey, we heard that uh, what you were saying about not really caring about the salary increases and not wanting to rehire and go through the training and everything. We're going to find out if you really meant that. Well, that's perfectly fine because I did mean it within reasonable limitations. All right, so we've come to the end of our video today, and I think we got a lot accomplished. We started the video at around 8.5, 8.6 million, and we added about another million to that. We got a couple of trucks swapped out uh, and now on to a lot more money that we're making from the flatbeds. Of course, we've got our 10200 per week that we're making on this particular contract recurring for the flatbeds and we're about to make some very nice money from these as well. So I like where we are so far. Uh, as I mentioned, I am keeping 
these five and then a few of these other trucks over here as we level up uh, and go after these new uh, trailer types. I'm trying to leave a few trailers here and there on those types as we move along and then we'll see if they if they turn out to be wildly profitable and have readily available loads for them then maybe we'll swap over some of our uh, the dump trailers or who knows what from there but uh, that of course will all be in the future for now thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more of our let's play of transroad usa